Hello and welcome to the Wild Bites Back TV. Today, I'm gonna install a new fiber optic sight on my turkey gun. This is a Mossberg 835 Ultimag. It came with factory sights when I first got it. But as you can see, there are no sights. And that's because the front sight just fell off completely one day. No idea where that went. And the back sight, it's one of those snap-on ones that came right on the rail here. And as you can see, one of the light tubes just broke right out of it. And frankly, I didn't really like it too much anyway, so we're gonna put a nicer one on today. Last year, after I lost my front sight, I bought a magnetic high-vis uh, snap-on fiber optic sight. And I loved the idea in theory, but after shooting it a few times, I could already tell there was gonna be problems. Every single time I shot, the recoil would just cause it to slide everywhere, so I had to keep readjusting it. And then after a few times taking her out, I looked down at one point and it was just completely gone. Turned out to be pretty disappointed with that. So this time I figured I'd go with a little bit of a more permanent solution. I decided to purchase a True Glow Magnum Gobble Dot Pro Series fiber optic sight off Amazon. It's got great reviews, cost a little bit more money, cost about $33 on Amazon, but small price to pay if the cheaper ones are just gonna fall off and break on you anyway, right? Right off the bat, it feels like a solid little piece of equipment. It's not, it's little, but it actually has some weight to it. It's all metal construction, feels definitely sturdy, like it can withstand the rigors of transport. I actually have a really good feeling about this. It even comes with a couple little Allen wrenches here, so everything you need to get this puppy installed, let's get her done. Before we get started with the installation, when choosing a fiber optic sight for your shotgun, there's a couple important things that you have to know before you actually pick a sight that you're gonna buy. The first thing is the brand of gun. This is, like I said, a Mossberg 835 Ultimag. And right on the package, it says fits most Mossbergs. The other thing you have to know is the size of your rail that runs on top of your gun barrel. Rails come in all different sizes. This is a 3 8 inch rail. They come in quarter inch, 3 8 5 8 inch. So it's important to pick a fiber optic sight that's gonna fit on your rail. There's even some shotguns that don't even have a rail. They're just plain barrel shotguns. So if you have a shotgun that's plain barrel, this style of sight won't work for you. This fiber optic sight is meant to sit on top of this rail and you're gonna clamp it together using these screws on the side and it's gonna pinch right against the rail. But there are also styles of fiber optic sight that actually use screws that go underneath the rail. If I can zoom in here and show you, this is a vented rail with some styles of fiber optic sight screws actually go underneath this rail and tighten down and that's how the fiber optic sight gets secured to this rail. As you go back toward the receiver of the shotgun, you'll see that the barrel starts to taper up and those vents get smaller and smaller and eventually disappear. It's important to put it as far back as possible on the rail, but not too far to where you don't have enough room in those ventilated areas to get the screws in. With this style, I can actually go a little bit farther back because we're not going underneath into those vents so I can get farther back on the rail. And ideally, you wanna get your back sight as far back as possible because this will give you the best, most accurate sight alignment. If your back sight is too far forward, too close to your front sight, it's gonna cause a misalignment when you're trying to aim and you're not gonna be able to aim accurately. Okay, so now that that's done, rule number one whenever working with any firearm, no matter what you're doing to it, is make sure it's unloaded. And she's unloaded. Safety's on, she's unloaded, we're ready to work on it. And yes, I can't find my gun vise right now, so dumbbells work just fine. Look at that. Actually, I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and install the front sight first. I'm gonna put it as far forward as I can, right up until about that uh, 
the screw hole where my front bead should go. And I'm gonna tighten it down. I'm not gonna over tighten it though, because I don't, if you over tighten it and really squeeze it against the rail, then it could damage your sight. So I'm just gonna hand tighten it until it feels nice and snug and feels like it's not gonna go anywhere. That's on there, great. That's not going anywhere. And now I'm gonna repeat the process for the rear sight. And like I said, I'm gonna get it as far back as possible to give myself the most accurate sight alignment I can. And I'm just gonna, once again, tighten it down, but not over tighten it, because I don't wanna bend and break these nice little sights that I just bought. And that is on there solid as well. And that's pretty much all there is to the installation of these fiber optic sights. This screw right here adjusts your elevation. This little screw on top, if you loosen it, you can move this side to side and adjust your windage. Looks good. And that's about all there is to installing a fiber optic sight on your shotgun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Found it helpful. Why don't you hit subscribe below? We're going to be coming out with a lot more videos in the near future. And in the meantime, I'd also love to hear what your favorite type of sight is for your shotgun. So why don't you hit me up with your comments down below? All right. Take care, guys, and happy hunting.